I would say that would be hype. Yeah, it's Winner's Finals. I would say that would be hype, but it's a Palo Ditto, so it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, Pow Steve, very silly. Um, it would be hype for the BM. Here. We've never, I mean, I've never seen Boss Kage. I don't know if he's been here before. I, I think this is his first time. Yeah. Um, but uh, just making a tear. Some of you are saying he's from California, I think. Mm -hmm. I already teamed with Kiwi and they did really well. Yeah. Kiwi just running around playing Falcon. Yeah, just doing silly yeah, another things Falcon. balls just like takes everybody out. No, Kiwi was getting like all the kills. He was like forward smashing. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, not. I mean, I don't. I don't know anything about the, what in the world that just broke through. Up smash. That's crazy. Steve's jank. Uh. Nice. Yeah, I have no idea. How, like, if Balls Kage knows this matchup at all. My um, yeah, my first impression is I don't think so necessarily. Mm -hmm. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa. What? I think that is a standard. That is a Palu thing. For sure, I oh. don't think that's like surprising. She got like for a caught on like the last frame or something, but the moves continued. Or like, oh no, I think I probably know how that might work. Like the detection for whether you get the fire animation is different from when mm -hmm. you, whether you actually get hit. Uh. All right, we're doing funny Minecraft Steve stuff yep. things. Yep, minecart. If you know how to deal with minecart, you're gonna do great. But we'll we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 and missing the tech. I there. remember when I, I mean, played. Who, who's gonna hit that tag? When I played Pow at the last ABU I was at, uh, I think I would have won the set if my uh, fair timings to catch the minecart were a bit better. Yeah, I think that's just. Um, if you gotta know that timing, you gotta yeah. know how to beat. Yeah, beating minecart's very important. You also gotta know to like jump over it and not get yeah. caught by whatever trap he's trying to set up from mm -hmm. it. I know, just like doing um, doing minecart from ledge, just like minecart from running away. Ooh, okay. I mean, just pretty dominant so far from Pal, but I mean that's to be expected, if especially mm -hmm. if you don't know the matchup. Yeah. Okay, getting that All stock same. there. Okay. Yep. Stock. A uh, broken Palutena bear. <laughs> Invincible, because why not? It's a shield. I don't want... Just Minecraft like, Steve not like super edge guard like I don't know you don't gimp him too easily but I don't know he's kind of combo-y like he, he dies pretty easy yeah it's funny pow doing his like little setup like well, block setup but it doesn't like super work against palu because yeah you can just shoot through it all right here's here's my question how does pow do literally the same thing with the elytra every time and always get away with it <laughs> oh like that dive down yeah it has like a weird hitbox on it and it's just silly it's just silly. Oh, Balls is bringing this back. Yeah, that's true. This is um looking pretty close now. Pow doesn't quite have diamond. I think if he gets diamond. Oh, maybe know, maybe. Does diamond okay. matter that much? Um, it's hard to get diamond. You really gotta mine for it. Yeah, but it doesn't give that much. Oh, dude, though. diamond is broken. Oh, diamond is totally broken. If right. Steve just always had diamond, it would they'd be top tier. Oh, oh, you know, he was expecting the anvil, and I think yeah. that was like, a, I think that might have killed, so I think that was a really good option mm -hmm. to choose. It's just high risk, high reward. Yeah. That's the nice thing about playing Ike, Steve, is you can hit the anvil with up air. Nice. Alright, here we go. Uh, we... Add one to the POW score. Save. I love that POW has picked up Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is so fucking funny. Like, the great meme. Pac Man was already funny, but we, we've had Pac Man for a while now. Pac Man's just a character. But Steve is funny. Have we had Pac Man for a while yeah, now? Yeah, we've had Pac Man since Smash 4. That doesn't count. Because he basically, like, quit Pac-Man for yeah, forever. Yeah, but, but Pow's been playing Pac-Man since then, and Pow's been, like, number one. And it's like, he's number one with Pac-Man, and now it's kind of like, oh, that makes sense. But now just, like... Did he actually pay, play Pac-Man in Ultimate uh, pre-COVID? Uh, Pow? Yeah. Yeah, Pow has played Pac-Man as, as long as I've known him. Um, I don't... I remember him, all, like, pretty much always Smash playing War. Snake. No, no, Snake's, like, just a fun secondary for him. 
Um, I mean, a lot of these characters are, but he, he really looks like he's really enjoying nice, nice. Really enjoying the Steve and Pac-Man. That's really yeah. who he's been on recently. See, I, I can get you, get you with a deep lore back when he played Luigi. Oh, in Smash 4? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I think that was, um, if, if I remember correctly, that's when um, Cloud came out. Yeah. When he picked up Luigi so he could beat Smash 4 Cloud. That sounds about right, yeah. Which is, still isn't a great matchup. He, I th he eventually settled on Diddy, I think. And his Diddy was really good. Okay. So, Balls, kind of understanding the matchup a little bit more, I think. Pac-Man in Smash 4 is seven years <laughs> old. Dang. This is what I'm saying. When, when Pal has Diamond, he really likes to use it. Which makes sense. It's just so good. It, it... Yeah, See, Diamond... that's why people don't edge guard, I think, Electra a lot. Because it just has such a weird hitbox. Yeah. And you also don't want to be off stage against Steve and, like, get ledge guarded. Uh... Somebody, uh, somebody said he's a pal or he's a California player or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, a very, very good California player. Uh -oh. He teamed uh -oh. with Kiwi earlier in doubles, and they did they oh, win? Okay. Um, I, I think they won. Yeah, they um, they won. They, they won doubles. Him together. and Kiwi won doubles together. So. Okay, so pal up 2-0. We're really just seeing like 3-0, 3-0. We're we're up 2-0 now. We might just yeah. get like this. Might just be the fastest top eight. I, I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm ready for that crew battle. Yeah, dude, the DK versus Ganon crew battle. I still don't know how we're doing it. I think it's if you go even, or or if you if you, um, if you go sorry positive. Yeah. In the crew battle, you get ten bucks. Okay. So so for every three stocks you take, you get ten dollars. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. I'd offer to play for the Ganons, but I'm not confident in my ability right now. You're not right confident now. in the Ganon? <laughs> yeah, dude. We're gonna see how it works. Okay, so we switch over to the Ness. Ness, is, his Ness is freaking clean, too. Yeah. Very, very good Ness. How does he play all these characters so at such a high level? That just, I mean, I guess I'm just a, <laughs> I'm a solo main, so I just don't get it, but like, yeah, dude, just crazy. Well, I think, I feel like, People who play like secondaries and stuff, they probably have to compart compartmentalize a lot. Like, mm -hmm. okay, this character's really good at this thing, and this character's really good at this thing. So these right. are what I should focus on, and I shouldn't focus all that much on the rest of their gameplay because uh, if if I'm running into a matchup where you know that those extra el or those other elements of the gameplay or of your gameplay is hindering me, then I can just switch to one of the other characters mm -hmm. that covers that. Okay, interesting. He didn't go for a forward smash. That's kind of what I expected. Mm. So it's that type of minecart play that I think if people start learning how to beat, um, it's not... I mean, we'll still... Pal will still be in, in grands, like, every time. Yeah. But, but we, we won't see the 3-0 every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? That was... Yeah. Good. Okay, yep. Yeah. get minecart is just so good. It's a command grab. It's, it's seriously one of the best moves. Um, but, I mean, its weakness is... You don't always have access to it. That, yeah. Nice, nice. So, fun fact, you actually can't hold Ness Yo-Yo for three seconds like you can with the other Smash Attacks. Huh. Yep. Yeah, um, that makes sense, yeah. That was a, that was an early adept like patch that they had. Because I think too many Nesses were doing it. They were just holding Yo-Yo for three seconds at the ledge and no one could beat it. Now they got a timing. Yeah. Okay, well, this is looking like a much more even game. I think it's I think it's like the yo-yo hitbox disappears, but it's still there. Um. Well, it's just this the smash attack will just auto go off. Oh, okay. After like a second, rather than three. Like you can only charge. I it thought for... I remembered it being the other way, but you're probably right. It's like you can charge any smash attack for three seconds, but yo-yo they made it so you just can't do that. Yep. Yep. That's Dude, minecart just killing at a hundred percent center stage. Yeah? Like, it's so such a good move, man. The, I mean, the key to beating it is just not letting Steve have access to it. Oh, the, imagine if you would have hit him into the minecart. I know, that would have been silly. Very... I mean, Steve is just silly. He was so confident with that Elytra, why? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's just like new characters. Sometimes you don't know how to beat it. And it's not that Pow is, like, getting getting by because it's a new character it's just he's doing the same thing because it's working like why would you stop doing the same yeah. thing yeah and there we go the 3-0 the anvil. silly silly anvil there um 
Kyle taking I think, it. I think the I think an anvil is like the way 